previously. Right, we are back after a long time, and I mean a long time. I spent so long in the uh, corrupt, uh, Crimson area. I've got 28 I caught 22 Souls of Night. I, it took forever. Now, the reason it took forever is because um, part way into fighting the bunch of stuff in the uh, Crimson, a goblin army attacked. I didn't think too much of it because I didn't really care. It wouldn't bother me. They didn't uh, come for me. They went for my village. Turns out people can't move in if there's a goblin army invasion. So Guide refused to move in and I didn't realise that. So I'm sat there waiting for ages for him to move in and he didn't. I forgot to voodoo doll. Um, so I came back and I've just killed the goblin army, finished them off. So now Guide has moved in. And we can get back down there and do that. So that was an absolute pain in the butt. But on the bright side, we did come off better for it. One of them dropped a mechanical eye, and I remembered why now. We used to get them all the time, and we don't now. It's because uh, they drop frequently in any world where... Get out of it, you scumbags. They drop frequently in any world. Oh, I'm getting slaughtered here where you haven't defeated those bosses yet. So because we have beaten those bosses a lot of times in our world, they weren't... There's a bomb following me. They weren't uh, show up in our world. But here, it might be worth setting up some kind of little grinder just so we can keep getting these for free. We don't have to use our own resources, not just the guy. But also the mechanical worm and the mechanical skull. Or suspicious looking skull or whatever the hell it is. Right, save our game just in case. And we will summon in the wall of flesh once more. No, he glitched. Okay, so main menu. Did it glitch? No, it didn't. Okay. It just decided to come from the other direction this time. Okay, that's fine. I can handle that. I was really, really quite worried for a second. He seems to be making different noises to usual. That's bizarre. Okay, he's dead now. <gasps> Trophy! Yes! Oh, where am I going? We did it, look! We got the Wall of Flesh Trophy. We can leave, we got another laser rifle, and... Wow, this has been quite the freaking adventure here. Right. Let us save our game, just in case the worst happens. And main menu. Save and exit. Phew! That is really something quite special there. So that only took us like three or four goes. I think that was the third go, wasn't it? Freaking goblin army, man. What a pain. Right, so back down to this. More trophies away. Wall of flesh. I guess that would go there. So what am I missing now? Let me have a look. We need Okram, Morning Wood, and the Pump King. So two of those we can't get until the Pumpkin Moon, but Okram we can get. Now Okram is a pain in the rectum, namely because of the fact that we need Adamantite. Now I did bring an extra 10 Adamantite with me here to this world. I don't think that's going to be enough though. I mean, do you really think we're going to get the Ocarina Trophy on the first, the very first drop? Would would we be lucky enough for something like that to happen? I really doubt it. So what I will do is I will make a journey to my world. I will grab up whatever adamantite I have left, which is very, very little, by the way. Which sucks, because that means at some point we may have to create a world, force it to spawn adamantite, and then go... Where's the shopkeep? Where is my shopkeeper? Walter. Walter, where are you? There you are! You went missing, you terrified me! I thought you'd gone senile and wandering off! Okay, talk to me, Walter. Shop. 
Uh, yeah, I want you to buy this stuff because I'm not going to use it. Thank you. It took some potions too and a hammer. Right. What was I saying? It's completely evaded me. Oh, I don't mind taking you. We may have to go digging it up ourselves. Because, yeah, we're just going to run too low and we're not going to have enough. I, I really doubt we'll have enough anywhere. Unless we get really lucky. I right, we've got a hair pling banner. Run out of room for these things. So, let us save, quit. Oh, this is a lot of back and forthing in this. I said this episode, this recording session. So, I, I honestly don't know how much we've got. I don't think it's that much. What little I had, I was saving. It's in this world. Yeah, what little advantage I had, I was saving at this point. But, you know, it's going to do me no good there. Especially since I probably won't come back to this old world, this old file, that old character anyway. Right, where do I keep it? It's not in there. That's regular ones. I think it was just in here. 40 bars. I think that is all I have. Scan around, see what we can find. I don't... There's no oars on this side. Fine then, I guess we have to leave here. With what little we have, so that's 40 there, plus 10 at home, that's a total of 50. That means we can summon Okram five times. Yeah, just five more times before we get out of Adamantite. That is not good at all. I just remembered as well that it, it's so expensive to make it, not just in Adamantite, but in other stuff. We need to create some of those skulls and stuff. Look what we have on here. So we're going to need five of these, ten of these. Oh, job. This really sucks. We're going to need so much uh, adamantite, so much iron. Let's go smelt some up because we are going to freaking need it. Try not to create a bunch of those crap accidents. Right, that's going to have to do. I don't make any more just in case the uh, the waste happens. Put that there, those in there. Now we need souls of light and souls of dark. Luckily I have plenty of these and a few of these, but it should be enough. We'll also need lenses, which I might actually go through all of those. In fact, I am going to go through all of those lenses. That is not enough. Give me that. And then, uh, no, in fact, give me 99. Because I'll need 60 just for those, but I'll also need twin dealios. I'll need some of these. That's going to make me free. Plus another one of those. It is really, really eating into it. And what else do I want? Do I need to add souls for this as well? I think I might have to. Alright, let's go, go across to this end. Yeah, so we need one, two, three, four. I've got five of those now. One, two, three, four. Now we have five of those. Now for this, I'm going to run out of Souls of Night. I can wait two. One, two. That is not good, is it? So we need Souls of Night more than anything. Let's... Where do we get Souls of Night from? I don't even remember. Underground Crimson. Do we have like a dedicated area for it? I don't think we do. That sucks. Okay, I think we may get them around the jungle area. Or maybe even, you know, I built my amazing platform type place to lead up to my arena underneath the jungle. That might be worth going to. It might also be worth if I have one. I should. I started collecting them at some point. Getting. I don't have any more. A blue candle. I think I've placed them all. I should go to my... Go to my... What's it called? The... The, the, the dungeon. Go to the dungeon and dig up some blue candles. Oh, this... Oh. This is, Okram is so expensive to summon. He really is. Absolute pain. I hate fighting him. Mainly because of that reason. Uh, so yeah, we'll go grab some blue candles. Because there's plenty of them in there. And I've been meaning to rid that place of them anyway. And then we'll sit in like some area where the 
darkness, Souls of Darkness will come out and I will sit there and kill stuff with a blue candle forcing more enemies to spawn and it is going to be slow going because unlike the one in the dungeon where I managed to get like 200 in like an hour it's not going to be anywhere near that fast it's probably going to take me half an hour to get tons of them but let's see how many would I need if I want three more and it costs five each that's 15 more I have two on me, so I need 13. I could probably get that. With a blue candle, I can probably get that fairly quickly. <sighs> it's just a matter of getting to that point though, isn't it? Right, we are here. We'll drop down. So yeah, it's, it's, it, no, it's annoying how we do this stuff, but at the same time, it feels good to be doing something, something other than just constantly killing the twins. That was becoming an absolute nightmare. Just a pain in the rectum. It's good to be doing something else, right? So we'll see if we're in range of a blue candle because we'll have a indicator like this. So there's a blue candle nearby. If you can see it next to uh, my scythe, underneath my scythe, it says um, blue candle. There it is. To dig our way in because the door's blocked for some reason. We'll put it back. We don't need this dungeon door. Get in there. Right, it's got one blue candle. And we could leave with that, that's all we need. But we'll run around and try to get some more. Because we may need them for future endeavours. And I did collect a bunch of them at one point, And you've seen how quickly we managed to go through them. Mainly because they've been put in like... All of our grinders have them. Anyway, we want to be fighting lots of enemies repeatedly. We have put down blue candles. Although, it might be running out. Oh! I'm pretty sure I already dug this up, but it's there, so I'm going to take it again. Oh yeah, I dug it up, but we, then we lost the... Oh, my computer crashed, didn't it? I had to redo it. Right, you guys just want to back up, maybe? Just want to drop down here. There we go, blue candle. Get in my life. You guys get out of it. Any other blue candles want to show their faces around here? I'm not too bothered about killing these, so don't worry if I'm ignoring them. They're just sort of in the way. Right, there's a blue candle nearby. It's down this way, though. Take that ectoplasm. Thank you. Oh, I never showed off the new stuff that I got. Oh, there's a paladin. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I'm trapped by that flame. That's not good. Those paladins are very, 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 very tough. You can tell by the amount of damage they're taking here. Oh, they survived for so long in my grinder. It's kind of terrifying, actually, how tough they are. Okay, yeah, I thought I was going to die from that. Right, yeah, but um, because of my grinder and stuff, I have actually got lots of awesome... I say lots. I've got a few awesome bits of treasure I could show you guys. I never did. I'll do that when I get home. There's a blue candle in range. It's up here. So this is going to help me not just for having blue candles, but for any time I wish to come and explore in here. I'll no longer be absolutely inundated with the amount of freaking guys who just want to drop on my head. Right, it looks like that might be all the blue candles. I will check up since that is the last place to check. Oh, is it over here? Nothing over there. So directly up and we'll see. Because this will take us back where we came from. Right, we're done. No more blue candles. Right, 